Yo, yo, what's up, you guys? It's your boy, Three Stacks in this thing, baby. And uh, a few of my subs have asked me to basically update my Metal Fulse ever since Electrum went to one on the most recent ban list. Just kind of trying to figure out, you know, they're trying to figure out how the deck can still be played. And honestly, the ironic thing is this card belongs to this deck anyways, and this deck has a way to recycle it. So having one Electrum doesn't really hurt as much as most people think. Because in a lot of your combo sequences, you're able to resolve Mithurium and put back your Electrum and summon them again, which is really awesome. So yeah, it's not that big of a deal. You still end on practically the same boards. The only times it hurts is if your opponent like ogres this, then you have to make Doolittle Chimera and then like make Mithurium and then go into Electrum in your main monster zone. But you just got to waste resources. But other than that, Metaphors are still an amazing deck, you guys. I love this deck so much. Like... If I was to choose Metal Falls or Pendulum Magicians, I would choose Metal Falls over Pendulum Magicians every single time. But overall, Zephyr's the best Pendulum deck. That's There's no debate. There's no argument. It just Zephyr's are the best Pendulum deck. Let's hop into this build, you guys. It's pretty spicy. So starting off with the main starter card for me. Not starter card, but the main card that I want to start with is uh, Ms. Valley Apex Avion. Um, my, my deck's play style is just... I'm trying to set up negates and I'm not just trying to get disruptions like a pop or a bounce or a shuffle. I just want pure negates. That's all I want. I want to I want at least four negates. I want to try to take as much of your cards out of your hands as possible. Eat up as much of your resources as possible and then let you try to break my board after that and see if you can still OTK me after that. Uh, this deck's amazing. And Avion's a really consistent negate because every single time you're going to be able to just pendulum summon it back. It bounces itself to hand for cost, so it's just, it's in kind of, in a way, it's an infinite negator. You're just never going to run out, and I love it because they start to stack. You start to, you open with one, you keep bouncing it, and you end up drawing into another one. Or if you open two, that's amazing because then you have double negate every single turn, which is just incredible. So yeah, Avion's amazing. It's level seven. It has synergy with the archetype. It's easy to summon, and it doesn't even brick because all your skills are searchable. You have a lot of starter cards. You have a lot of ways to plus. Uh, yeah, Avion's just incredible. Played at three, hands down without a doubt. So triple Miss Valley, Apex, Avion. And then for our Metal Falls, we play triple Volflame. Uh, I just love Vol Volflame right now because he's level seven. Uh, I'm really focusing on Absolute and Vortex a lot of the times. Um, but yeah, also just him being level seven means that my Summoner's Art has other targets besides the uh, the the package, which is, you know, just the, uh, the Cleave Fort package. Then we have triple gold driver. Uh, gold driver is just 19 beater, bro. Rescue rapid target for 1900 is just amazing. You know, you're able to OTK with stuff like that. Like just, whew. Uh, triple silvered. Silvered is awesome as well. The 17 body for a level three ain't half bad. Uh, and then we also have triple stealing. Uh, stealing 21 booty. Uh, all they really have is attack stats because all their skills are the same. And their vanilla's on field, so they're they're not, have no effect. So I'm just showing the benefit of their statistics, basically. And then we also have double Bismuth Gear. I actually like the card at two in this build. Uh, Bismuth Gear is like the only Metal Falls with an effect. Unfortunately, he's a level one. It kind of sucks, but he's your searcher. He he's a really good card. Um, his in phase search guarantees that you'll be able to make your um Alkahees during your opponent's turn and have. Not a negate, but a disruption that can suck up a monster that could be threatening to you. Like, especially if you're just, your opponent drops a beater that can attack over Avion. You just drop an Alkahi, suck that monster up. Now they have to play into Avion, which is really strong. And Avion can negate anything, even if the effect, if it's an effect of a card that's been face up on the field for a long time. Avion can negate it. So, yeah, pretty broken. So, that's all your Metal Falls. Uh, you know, you play 14 Metal Falls, and then you play your Avions. Avions contribute to your negates. So we're going to keep Avion here. Then we have some good starter cards. We have the Wonder Pets. The Wonder Pets, you guys. Wonder Pets, Wonder Pets. We're on our way. We have Triple Hamster, Trip, Triple Rabbit. Uh, these cards are basically very similar to each other, being Electrum, Electrum Turbo starter cards. But Hamster, hands down, is way better than Rabbit because it has a recovery play, which is really important. It's a plus one that's necessary in the... Uh, duration of your combo sequences having a hamster it just it, it makes or breaks a lot of the plays so yeah wonder pets pretty op op brother uh triple ramp uh hamster, triple hamster triple rabbit uh so yeah these the all these cards lead to negate so i'm just gonna keep these uh all the cards that lead to negates so you guys see how often my deck opens with negates 
Mythical Beast engine. Already know this leads to negate, so I'm gonna keep that right there. Uh, it also contributes to your Electrum Turbo cards. Uh, but yeah, Jackal King is a negate. Uh, Master Service helps for OTKs going second, pushing through boards. Uh, then we have Chronograph and Time Gazer. Yeah, this leads to negates as well. Um, it can lead to Electrums. It can lead to Naritos. Just it even every Pillow Monster is fodder for your Mithurium, you know. Because it's just a metal folds and a pendulum that makes it that can put back your electrum too. So yeah, a lot of just a lot of maximum you get maximum value out of a lot of these cards. Then we have the Dark Worm engine for the Cheerios. This can lead to getting the gates as well. Why? Because this is a level seven that you can pendulum something from your hand for your absolute vortex play. Uh, so yeah, a lot of the times every card you have leads to the gates. The metal folds are probably the only ones that don't lead to the gates. But they do lead to a disruption because they their engine goes into Alkahis. Alkahis uh, basically equips effect monsters to him during the player's turn. Uh, and then we have the Cleave 4 package, which hands down negates. So this leads to negates. Um, actually, all these cards lead to negate. Uh, Avion is a negate. Jackal King is a negate. Naturally, Chrono is pretty much a negate because it goes into Naruto. This is a Infinity. This is Naruto. This is just monster negate. Avion is anything negate. Like all these cards are broken, you guys. This, we don't need hand traps. This deck is too savage for hand trap. If I put hand traps in a deck like this, it'll just be disrespectful, bro. Disrespectful. And then for our spells, we have triple summoner's art. Hands down, this one card is in a gate. This goes straight into your uh your Cleefort engine. You end up making infinity off of this spell. This is amazing. So yeah, three negates. Three negates. Double painful decision just to increase your chances of opening with your metal fools. Keep in mind that Summoner's Arts is not once returned. If you have multiples, you can use one to go into your Cleave for engine and the other to search a Volflame. And that, lead, that just leads into your, your Metal Falls engine as well. Then we have Double Dragon Shrine. Really good starter card as well as the one Foolish Burial. Uh, I wanted to play two of this and the one Foolish instead of playing Triple Shrine, which is kind of tough. I didn't want to play a lot of hard once returns. So, you, you know, my hard once returns are two of which helps me to not break. Then we have one Metal Falls Fusion, one full Metal Falls Fusion. This is to make your Alkies during your opponent's turn. Very skillful interactions that you get out of that card. We have combo. I love using combo, just summoning um, Ori Calc and then using combo to re bring back my Mithrium from Grave. This also works when anybody fusion summons. So if you're playing Invoked and they make Macabre, you can bring back any of your fusions from the Grave for free. And then the counter, it's still the GOAT. It's still a really good card. It still helps you, increases your ceiling. It's really hard for your opponent to OTK you if you have a counter. And it also gives you a follow-up for your additional resource recursion. So yeah, overall, the spells naturally, the spells and traps naturally lead into snowballing advantage. That's the main deck, you guys. Now for our extra deck, we have the one Electromite, the GOAT himself. He got his own self hit on the ban list because he's just too good. We have one copy of Dual Little Chimera. This is for when your opponent ogres your uh, Electrum. You basically go into a Chimera and then you make Mithurium here. You use Mithurium, put your Electrum back, then you make Electrum here, and you use Electrum to send your Mythical Beast cards. If you haven't done that already, send your Jackal King and stuff like that. Uh, do your full combo. You end up just trying to uh, push for as many negates as possible. Then we have one Zephyr Metaltron. We have one Firewall. Firewall is here for the interaction where you can actually bounce back your Electrum, uh, which I'm trying to play as many ways to get my Electrum back as possible. If I don't have the resources to make Mithurium and still do my negates, I have to go into my negates, link up uh, from Absolute, and then go straight into Firewall. Uh, cold link him with my Griffin, which is pretty easy because you do this after you Pendulum Summon. And then you use Firewall to bounce your Electrum so that you have a follow-up for your OTK next turn, which is broken. And then we have the one Borload because uh, I love Borload, you guys. Bust your board wide open, Dragon. That's what I nicknamed this card. Then for our fusions, we play two copies of Mithurium. You don't need three. You can actually loop one with the other. And then combo always gets them back as well. One Vortex, one Akihis, and one Oricalc. These cards are really good for pushes. Like, this card can get his attack pretty high. Uh, I'm sorry, not his attack. Get his defense pretty high. So, like, he just helps you to outboards. Um, also, he just gets rid of monsters that can't be destroyed by card effects and stuff like that. He helps you to push. Push past those, like... For Thunder Dragons, they have Colossus or Titan or whatever. They can't be destroyed and stuff because they protect themselves from being destroyed. You just suck them up and equip them. So yeah, pretty strong matchup <laughs> against them because all your Metaphor scales basically lead to an out to any Thunder Dragon fusion. And they don't search. They just set from the deck to the grave. So uh, from the deck to the field. So yeah, pretty strong Thunder Dragon matchup just because of Alkies. 
And then you still got Vortex. You make Vortex, you bounce the Thunder Dragon Fusion, and uh, you have a negate after that. So Vortex is just ridiculously good. It's a powerful, aggressive card. And Orichalc gives you double piercing, which is pretty clutch. But the most important thing is when, <gasps> when this card hits the grave, he pops a card on the field, which is broken. Absolute for your Vortex combo. Naruto because it's easy to make and then we have our cyber dragon infinity package because you play the uh, The uh, Cleefort package which is accessible through your Electrum turbo cards and your summoners arts So yeah, you naturally get infinity no matter what um, One of the problems with the boards is you can get more negates sometimes But the problem is your monster zones are always filled That's why I started playing cards like Griffin and firewall because I can link with a lot of my excess monsters and open more zones, more extra monster zones, so that I can do more negates. Uh, so that's why like, Griffin, hands down, is always like one of my endings. Like a lot of the times when I have my broken hands, or when I open like with like just an, one metaphor, I'm um, in a lot of turbo cards. Like plus, so if you open a summoner's art, a metaphor, and a lot of turbo cards, like the other three are turbo cards, like Dragon Shrine, uh, Mythical Beast, and Rescue Rabbit, for example, bro. <laughs> Your ending board is just insane, okay? It's just like, <laughs> it's so broken. Where's he at? This guy right here is the GOAT. So you end up having this, and then Jackal King is going to be somewhere. So uh, what happens is, no, this that's that's right. Electrum already got linked. Electrum already got linked. So you actually, the board is like this. My bad, you guys. So it's like Metal Thron. Uh, you have Griffin. You have the Vortex here, you have Infinity here, and you have Jackal King over there. So you have Negate, you have Negate, you have Negate, you have this. And then Griffin is already stopping Special Summon monsters. So if they normal summon Condina or normal any monster that has an effect that's like good, you just Jackal King that. Griffin's already protecting you. Vortex has a Negate. Uh, Infinity has a Negate. And then, you know, you have your Metal Falls back row. Uh, so... If you have, like, for example, an actual Metal Falls monster in your hand and you have full metal, full metal, after you negate with Jackal King, you activate full metal and you can fuse into Mithrium right there, which is just really good, man. Um, the only thing I haven't been able to do is, like, end with that and then still make Alkahis on my opponent's turn. But I'm trying to figure out how I can do it. I know it's possible. You just have to really rethink and uh, renovate all your combos as much as you can. But yeah, that concludes the deck, you guys. It's really savage, bro. It's not to be taken lightly. If you guys want to see duels with it, I already have that planned. Uh, I'm trying to get as many duels as possible with all of my decks, but um, it's really hard for me to get duels because I don't go to locals anymore. So I have to duel with my friends, and that has to be when we both have a matching off day and have enough time to do it. But I'm working really hard for you guys. Trust me, I do work really hard for you guys. Uh, very, very hard. Thank you guys so much for your patience, for supporting my channel, for taking the time out of your day to watch my videos, to listen to my ideals and how um, I function with my decks. I really am grateful for you guys, for each and every one of you individually. Uh, you have my love. You have my heart. And I always pray for you guys so I know that you guys are good. But thank you again. Peace, you guys. I hope you have a beautiful day or night or evening, wherever you are.